Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had an amazing week. We had a rough week. Um, it was just kind of rough. And this other girl that I work with, she even said it was just a rough week for her too. So I think it was just a rough week for everybody. Um, I hope you guys got through it okay. I, I didn't vlog yesterday and I kind of wish I did because I went out and about in the world again. My mom has a pickleball tournament coming up and she just like wanted something cute, you know? So we went to Target. We drove like it's an hour, or like 15 minutes away to like different shopping stores. We don't have anything here. Um, so anyways, we went to Target and I was very disappointed in their like active wear because I feel like in Albuquerque when I lived there I mean this was like four years ago but I felt like they had a really large active wear and their active wear here was very disappointing like there is nothing and so my mom was getting frustrated and I know exactly how she get like how it is because I hate shopping I get frustrated when I go shopping so I'm like I know how you feel she just couldn't find anything that she liked and then everything was black and she wanted like color stuff and she found a couple of shirts so I showed her like some I have a tennis skirt and then I have some shorts that and like she likes flowy shorts and like longer shorts I guess and so I showed her some of my stuff but it's all black and she wanted color she got a like a green shirt which I'm like yeah get color so I can like see you better on the course so I know where you are but she got like a color shirt a green shirt and then she did get just a gray shirt as well and all my stuff is black so unless she found something and then she'll wear that green shirt i don't know i haven't talked to her ever since after i gave her my shorts and stuff so i'll see her later today but i i hope she found something and she can wear that green shirt but yeah i was just very like it was just kind of disappointing because I thought we were like in our athleisure wear era where it's just athleisure wear. Unless that's going away. I don't know. I don't really keep up with the trends. I just kind of go with what I like. So I don't know about that. But we went there and in like their $5 section, there's stuff that was just so cute. Oh my gosh. There was a mouse and it was a heart shaped mouse. And then there was a strawberry shaped mouse and it was just the cutest thing and i'm like i want this and i had it in my hand and it was five dollars and i was like i'm gonna buy this and i didn't buy it and i wish i would have bought it and then they had a mouse pad but it was like a long one and i was like and there was a pink one i was like oh but i don't have like desk at my house with a computer if i did i would have bought it but then i then I was like, oh, I can buy it for my work, but I don't, I'm not the only one that sits at my desk and I don't want anyone else to use my stuff. And the reason why is because I feel like all my stuff gets ruined and I'm like, if it gets ruined by somebody else, I just, it irritates me so much. So I just use their stuff. But there, one thing I kind of want to buy is I saw a girl do a video and it was like, um, get or decorate my cubicle with me and she got this clear thing that kind of up like raised her keyboard so I was like oh I wonder if I would like that I don't know so I was like maybe I should look at something like that because I know people get arthritis and I need to google to see how not to get arthritis I don't know because I don't want to get like carpal tunnel and stuff like that you know so I need to like but then I don't really, I'm not in love with my job. So I don't know if I'm, how long I'm going to be staying there. I've been, so I'm watching Ezra Housewives and I've been just kind of looking up their jobs in the show to see, oh, would I like it? The only thing I was like interested in is like, oh, advertising. But then I was like, I'm not very good at, I don't know how I'd be with coming up with advertisement stuff, but if it's like a group thing where it's like someone throws an idea out that I feel like I could maybe like help throw out ideas because if I when I see commercials 
sometimes I'm like, oh, it'd be so cute if they would have done like X, Y, Z. So then I'm like, well, I don't know, maybe something like that. And I Google to see if there's an advertisement firm place here. There is, it's small, but I mean, there is one. So maybe I should look more into that. I know you have to go to school and I don't know how long that is. And then like another girl is, um, she's like an author and she does children books. I don't think I could do that at all. Yeah, I don't think I could write children books. And another girl is a realtor. And so I'm like, oh, and I Googled like, can introverts be realtors? And they said, yes, sometimes they are the best realtors. And I'm like, hmm. So I think I want to look more into that. I, when I volunteered at Kitchen Mana, there was a lady there who was a realtor. And one of the staff people, she's like, oh, I wanted to be a realtor, but then you kind of have to sell yourself. And I'm like, I guess if you're with a realtor company, I don't see how you would kind of need to sell yourself just because they're like here, like, Tara can help you and then yes like I feel like you need to sell yourself in the way like oh you like find places for people but that's like your job right and then I feel like if you are out in the world by yourself that's when you kind of need to sell yourself so then you can have like matter mouth ma word of mouth what is it word of mouth I think so and then like people talk like that way but I think I just want to work for someone who's like gives you people, you know? So I don't know. And then I looked on TikTok for realtors for beginners. And one video was like, this is all the fees that is going to come at the very beginning. And it was like $2,000. It could be up to $2,000, which is crazy. But then I'm like, okay. And I don't know. So I think I want to look more into that. And then maybe talk to that lady because she goes to my mom's church and she even was like, here, like give Tara my information, whatever. Cause I was like looking to buying homes. And then I was like, I would feel comfortable with her. And she's like, yeah, like look in, like, let me know when you're ready what type of stuff. So then I'm like, well, maybe I should talk to her about like realtor. I think she just kind of got into it maybe 10 years. No, I think in 2020, four years ago. I don't know. So I think I want to look into that. I know like a con is if you don't sell a house, you don't get money. Like I, I understand that. But then like if you sell a house and the percentage that you um charge houses out here are not cheap like yes you can so mobile homes are like hundred thousand and under um but there are homes that are like the cheapest are like three hundred thousand and for me i'm like that's not really cheap so anyways i feel like if you sell a couple houses a month but then I'm like, that's very high expectation. Just like car dealership people. Like, but nowadays I feel like at car dealerships, you kind of just go in, you test drive it. And there's no like hassle back and forth. At least when I bought my car, there was no like back and forth. They were like, this is the price. He didn't really even sell it to me. I kind of like saw online. I was like, I want to try it. He was like, okay. I like, he called me. He's like, and I put like a little thing like, oh, I want to see this car. He called me. He's like, do you want to come see it? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, come at this time. I was like, cool. He has a car out for me. We go in. He's like, okay, yeah, you can go and test drive it. And we were like sitting there for a while waiting because I thought he was going to come with us. And then he comes and says, is everything okay? I go, oh, we we're just waiting for you. He's like, no, you can like go. And we're like, oh, okay, cool. So then we test drove over and we're like, yeah. And that was it. Like I barely even talked to the dude. So I'm like, is that how all of it is? And then I even was like, hey, like, can I have this car at this price but with all the taxes? And he's like, no. I'm like, okay, cool. So I thought it was just kind of like a 
boring experience, but then it was nice too that there was none of that hassle stuff. You okay, Milo? <gasps> Whoa! So if um you guys have a job that you're like, I really like this, let me know, cause. I just really want to find my career, not just a stupid job, you know? And I haven't been liking my jobs recently, so I'm just trying really hard to get my life together. This is the year, this is my year that I'm also like telling people, not telling people, but like when I went to the eye doctor on Monday, he was like doing the test, like, you know, like, is it better one, better two, whatever. And so growing up, this is how I saw in my contacts, okay? So it was like, I was able to see things, but it wasn't sharp. It wasn't clear. It was still fuzzy. So then when I took out my contacts, I'm like, oh, it was just like clear, but then I couldn't see things. And I'm like, I wish this is how it was supposed to be. But I had really bad vision. Like my eyes were just awful growing up. Um, Like I... I had character chronics growing up, and then I also was looking through scar tissue. So my eye doctor kind of was like, oh, you're not going to really see that good, blah, blah, blah. So then I thought, this is the best that I can see, right? So when I went to the eye doctor, and so then, like, even I got surgery, whatever, even after that, it was still, like, blurry even in my surgery eye. So I thought, that's just how it's going to be. So then I went to the eye doctor he was he did all like the tests and then he flipped it to this one side like one thing I don't know what it was and it was just sharp and clear and I'm like oh my gosh and then he flips it back and I'm like like I can read it but it's not clear so I I guess advocated for myself and I'm like well I can read and I read the letters to him and I said but it's not as sharp as it was before and so he like flipped it back I was like yes I was like that is so much better and he goes okay we'll put a astigmatism thing in your contact and I was like oh, yes but now thinking about it I don't know if they did it for my left eye but I don't know I just know my right eye is going to be sharp and clear and I'm like thank god because that that was one of the things I didn't like about contacts is it wasn't sharp so I'm even more excited to get those contacts and see how I see. And we're just going to, we're going to be able to see, you know, so. So I just got back from doing my laundry at my mom's house and I, I don't know what was going through my head, but I was going to grab my, I was going to go grab the clothes from the washer and put it in the dryer and I put my hand in the washer and I was like, these are so wet. But I, my mind thought I was taking my clothes out of the dryer and so I was like, wait, why are these so wet? So I was about to close the door and then I was like, oh, washer. And my mom just started laughing at me and I was like, what the heck? That's so weird. But we, I went over... I did my laundry and then I had um, a Sunday meal and this has been happening. So I, I'll like eat breakfast and it's always, I don't know why I eat so much for breakfast. At least it's a lot for me and I get so full. And then like an hour later, my mom's like, we're going to have our meal at noon. And I'm like, oh, I'm so full. So I ate breakfast and I had two eggs and then two of those like hash browns ones that look like mcdonald's hash browns and something told me to just eat the eggs don't eat the hash browns so i was like no it'll be fine so i ate the two eggs and two hash browns and i had tea and tea usually fills me up so much too and then not even like 30 minutes later i was like we're gonna eat at noon and i'm like oh so thankfully i wasn't completely stuffed when i ate lunch but I am so full right now that I cannot move. It's like when people 
say that they have to go for, like, Thanksgiving, which I know people eat, like, way more for Thanksgiving, but they, like, go to Thanksgiving at one house and they have to go to another house for Thanksgiving. That's what I felt like. And so I need to just not eat in the morning or text my mom, like, are we having our meal at noon? Because if so, I will plan accordingly. Because I am just so, so full. But I've been, like, who hasn't been working today? And it keeps saying that it f it's failing to um, up, like, even get into Hulu. And so I Googled one. And it's like, oh, clear your cash and cookies. So I did that. And it started working. But then it just keeps buffering. And my hotspot that I have, like, it's unlimited. But after a certain amount, it just slows down. And so I'm at that point where it's slow and it's just, it's not working. And so I wonder if I just need to upgrade and get the like true unlimited. Cause I don't know if it's, it's either 10 or $20 more a month. And I don't know if I want to do that, but if it gives me true unlimited, I might do it. You want to say hi? Hello. Oh, I guess he doesn't really want to say hi. So, I've just, I've been watching Desperate Housewives. That's pretty much it. I'm doing my sewer now. I need to do Max's litter. And then I need to make those waffle, not waffles, oh my gosh, those burritos for this week. And make my lunch for this week. It's a normal Sunday, so... Yeah, next week we will be going to a pickleball tournament. So get excited for that because I'm actually excited because I don't know if, um, like, how it's going to be. Is there going to be a lot of people? I think my mom said there's about, how much, it, like, 15, like, couples or pairs. I don't know what they call it. Competing. So, and then she said the men's start at 8 and the women start at 11 but they have to be there I think at 10 so I will I will definitely bring you guys along we're gonna experience this together because I've never been to a pickleball tournament neither of my mom this is her first time it's gonna be exciting Max just wants a lot of attention right now too how are you? I'm thinking more and more about looking into like a real estate license and seeing what that entails. Cause I need to find something to be able to, su to support myself. I'm gonna continue to watch Desperate Housewives and maybe there's another like character on there and I can see what they do for a living and you know, I think this is what I need to do. Just watch TV, see what people do on there and see if it interests me and just look it up and be like, oh, that looks interesting. And just, I need to find something because I'm tired of working these jobs I don't like and jobs that don't support me and I can, you know, live on my own. So we're going to continue watching this and I will talk to you guys later.